Hello everybody. Um, I'm just going to talk about my health and spirituality in general um, right now as I like to do this. Um, well, I'm losing weight. I've been, I've gone from 285 to 233 and um, I'm aiming to go to 220 in like two weeks. Um, because that's when my doctor checkup is. I have one every three months, and you know, I'm just aiming for that. Um, so then I'll just have to, you know, just drink liquids and like exercise and stuff. And exercising really helps. It makes me hungry, but um, like working out and like walking and stuff, it's like the perfect meditation for me. It's like I get all my thinking done, you know, and go on like mind travels and stuff. It makes me really limber. And want to go to bed when it's bedtime, but you know it just does tempt me by making me a little hungry sometimes. I'll just have to like you know ignore that. And so I've been like you know lifting weights and stuff, and tanning. I've been tanning. My face is like kind of sunburned a little bit, but I am so thankful for the tanning booze. It makes me feel so good, and uh, my skin looks all tan and nice and stuff. See can't really tell. I, I like to be tanner. I have been tanner in my life because we have, my family has a cabin like on the lake and it's always sunny there in the summer and so like I used to tan all the time as a little girl. And I got tan, tan. And I got some like fake tattoos. Like I haven't used them lately. Jeez, I can't even turn my thing or like that. And I, I really like to put them on and stuff. They're fun. And that, see, it's a little rose, and that's like a big rose. I think I only have three of them on, and so they make me feel really good. I don't think I want to get a real tattoo, just because, like, this fake art is, like, so fun, because you can change tattoos whenever you want to. And, you know, just decorate yourself. Uh, um, I dyed my hair purple, like, a couple weeks ago then re-dyed it purple because it was fading and so it's like it's you can't even tell what color it is I mean can you tell to me right now it looks kinda like a like blackish brown it doesn't look that exciting I'd rather have my blonde hair back you know but um it's supposed to wash out in like three months or something as opposed to like six months um, I really liked the little thing that it came with, the, the package. You could, like, I had the option where you could bleach your hair first and then dye it purple, but I didn't want that dramatic of a look, you know. My boyfriend doesn't really like that, and my boyfriend keeps me w in line with what society is doing today, and so I'm just not, like, in outer space or something. Um, I'm working on bringing my psychic abilities into the forefront of my mind or something so that I can like talk to people about it because my spirit guide from long ago who's still persistent he's like you have to talk to people and you have to look them in the eye etc and then he also like prophesies that I'd be like famous or something you know uh, so many people say stuff like that and um, I can take that as a metaphor as of today and say that it's already happened simply because of the um, ride he put me on, you know, the frame of mind and the mind travel journey that I've gone on to find my way back home, you know, the hero journey or whatever. It's just like I'm inside out or something. It's a very akin to schizophrenia. Um, and a very big vision was that I definitely am not um, simply me, but like everyone else were, is like me too. And so I have to like separate like the two, like us from them or me from them or whatever. And I'm getting really good at like um, talking to people now. Um, I mean, compared to my past. Um, since I live on my own, you know, and with my boyfriend, my safe boyfriend, it's like um, easier to feel like. I have the right to be like shamanic or spiritual or out there and stuff because my parents like are just confused and so it's like my responsibility too or something like talk to them and stuff because 
I don't really know, but you know, I stay away from like danger zones and stuff because I know that there's some things that I shouldn't talk to some people about yet, you know, because I don't know how to verbalize it or um, which way, which direction to take it and stuff. And therefore, I'm learning how to be careful when I talk to people. And there's also this wizard trick that I learned on Wisdom Store about um, a way of talking to people. It's it's mainly a, a safety precaution. And so I'm learning to how to implement that into my life. Uh, actually, I thought of that today. Um, so yeah. What else? You know, my face is like really fat. I used to be 100 pounds and everything. And that's when I met my spirit guide, Jonathan. Jonathan McAllister. And uh, he's like my twin flame too, except... I don't like to use that term because, you know, it's so, like, unused in the mainstream, like, words of today. So, you know, I just call my soulmate, you know, because, but then supposedly, like, we have, like, a million soulmates or 144 or something, a thousand, I don't know, but, uh, one twin flame, so, like, I'm pretty sure it was him. It was just, like, the most insane time of my life. And... I'm recovering from it. So, um, I'm also like getting like massages now, and that's so nice. Um, yeah, like I've been having like a period of like coldness for ten years. Um, you know, es estrangement from my own self, from Jonathan, and estrangement from the world. And finally, I'm like, you know, I gained like. 180 pounds to be 280 and then finally I'm like you know if I lose 10 pounds I'm gonna sign up for like membership um massages and since then I've lost like 50 like 40 more pounds or something I mean it's so nice to be touched and just like it reminds me of Jonathan and like it reminds me of love um and my muscles feel so good and, um, also, my masseuse recommended I go to a chiropractor, which is, like, wow, like, something that I totally overlooked, and it's stupid to overlook it, you know? Because, uh, my, my head is, like, pushed forward or something, and my neck is as straight as a pole, like, if you look at the x-ray of it. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I, like, kept telling my parents and stuff, like, long, long ago, like, I have all these, like, aches and pains, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. So now, finally, I'm, like, beginning to find out what's really wrong with me and stuff, which is good. Uh, yeah, because I'm on, like, social security and, like, welfare or whatever because of my, like, diagnosis of schizoaffective, but, you know, it's all good. It's, we're one, one big family. Spirituality, science, ignorance, fun, whatever. Okay. So also today I got some like this shampoo that I used to use as like a kindergartner and grade schooler and I remember having a like uh, a babysitter over and she had the same name as me and everything. She's like oh my gosh I love your hair what shampoo do you use and I told her you know Pantene Pro V is like and it shined and I didn't really think much of it it's like this is my hair this is my hair. And then I'm like, I'm going to try that again and see if it works. And so I went to this store called the Bee Store. And I got some Pantene Pro V. Um, it's all Mexican written and everything. It was like two bucks. And um, what else? Oh, yeah. I got some conditioner, Pantene Pro V conditioner. Is like in-depth conditioner. And you leave it on for like two minutes. And it's for brunettes and everything. But you know... I, I just bought it for the in-depth conditioning um, because I like that kind of stuff and the two like shampoos were like separated like one was on one side of the store the other was on the other side of the store so it's kind of funny <laughs> and then I went home and did some scrapbooking and then I'm like oh I want some of that true moo because there's this chocolate milk out now, it's called True Moo. And I saw, like, 
it on the TV and everything. And now I'm like, I finally found it in a grocery store. And you know, it's going to help me with, if I get a little hungry tonight, you know, I'll just have some true moo. Um, but it does not beat this one chocolate milk I once had. It was almost like vampiric chocolate milk. It was like all purple and like weird. And it made me want to drink it like a lot. Those were tough times. Um, because... I was having nightmares like you couldn't believe. Um, you know, the great god Pan is like king of nightmares or whatever, yeah. So I was having lucid dream, outer body experience nightmares. And that's just like, um, you know, being in a nightmare on earth or whatever while you're awake. But I finally like got rid of those as I brought Shannon into my life, my boyfriend, who's grounded and sane. Well, I mean, sane as not insane, but the scratch out the end and just put sane. He's very sane and grounded, and he helps me with my own groundedness. Um, and I know that I talk funny because, like, I have, like, a background that's crazy. And the foundation lies upon a truth that I have yet to fully relate to another. I mean... It's my shamanic twin flame, like, infuses this energy in me. This white, bright light. And, you know, I didn't even say anything, you know? We never talked verbally, talked verbally together, um, about such matters. Because it's just, like, an understanding. It's like, how long really have I looked for you in the physical, um, years, eons? I don't know. But, you know, miracles happen when we're together, and it's just like, we love each other, and it means nothing compared to us, you know. Uh, ooh. But I'm aiming to get thin because my, like, masseuse is really beautiful. And, um, yeah, I'm just trying to please somebody, you know. Have a relationship with somebody. But then, what well, this is the stupidest, like, um, talk I've ever had on this YouTube because I always talk about spiritual stuff because then it would make sense but sometimes I just like talking about like whatever you know what else should I say my chip laps I always say this I go, my laps are really chipped or my chips are really lapped my lips are really chapped right now and I need to put some chapstick on him. Oh, I went tanning the other day and she's like, Do you have SPF sunscreen on your, like, lips? Chapstick on your lips? I'm like, no. She says, because lips can't produce melanin, therefore, like, you should put sunscreen chapstick on your lips before you, like, go tanning. I'm like, okay. And then she's like, do you have tanning lotion on? I'm like, yeah, I do, but I didn't. And it's like, because the tanning, the color of the tan is like a lot different than my normal tan if I put the tanning lotion on. And I adore the color of my natural tan. What? And you know, um, my chiropractic like gave me this flyer about how the sun is like actually good for you in some way despite whatever and the benefits outweigh whatever. And I agree with that. So, have a great day, oh reality creators of the world, and like, be prosperous in everything you do, and look yourself in the mirror and say, wow, that's me, but really, you can't even look at your face if you're looking at a wall merely, so you know, maybe everything's just a trick, you know, it's just a philosophizing way of thinking, unless you're, in case you're lost in space and don't know uh, which way to go or something. Okay, I think I end at 15 minutes. I've heard that I am allowed to do longer videos. Although, um, it always cuts me off at 15 minutes. So I'll just stop now. Bye!